Hey everyone, welcome to World Heritage Journey. For today's video, we're at the Summer Palace in Beijing, China. The Summer Palace is a former royal residence on the outskirts of China's capital, Beijing. As the name suggests, it was used by emperors as their summer retreat away from the noise and the heat of the city. Constructed mostly in the 18th century, the complex is centered on the artificial Kunming Lake and the artificial Longevity Hill. And it's absolutely enormous. The lake is about three square kilometers, while Longevity Hill is 60 meters high. Both are dotted with buildings, pavilions, temples, and other places of interest. The most dominating feature takes pride of place on the hill, the Tower of Buddhist Incense. This three-tiered, 41-meter tower was modeled after the Yellow Crane Tower in Wuhan. Here, empresses and emperors could pray and make offerings to the gods. Just below the tower is the beautiful Hall of Dispelling Clouds. This was built as a gift for Emperor Qianlong's mother, and it was later used as a reception hall for foreign dignitaries. It's fronted by the Gate of Dispelling Clouds, which connects to the front of the lake. On the lake's edge is the remarkable Long Gallery. This incredible structure is just that, a long outdoor corridor that runs essentially the entire length of the palace front along the lakeshore, an incredible 728 meters. It was built for obvious reasons, so that members of the imperial family could move about the gardens in any weather, rain, hail, or shine. There's several pavilions dotted along the corridor, and it's brightly colored with decorations and paintings of famous places and scenes from China. Nearby, there's the strange marble boat, which is exactly what it sounds like, a boat made of marble. Built in the 1890s by Empress Dowager Shisi, it has a distinctly Western style to it, and no, it obviously can't sail anywhere. Finally, at the back of the palace was probably our favorite feature, Suzhou Street. This is a large canal area lined with shops in a sort of Disney-style imitation of Suzhou, a city near Shanghai in eastern China. It was built in the 18th century as an entertainment spot where the royal family could wander around normal streets and just look in the shops, exactly as the common folk do. So it's a really lovely spot, though it does have quite an odd backstory. All up, we really enjoyed the Summer Palace. Although many of the buildings were burned down by British and French troops in 1860, and the signs and the brochures mentioned that repeatedly, they were reconstructed at great expense by Empress Dowager Shisi in the 1890s, and it's suggested that the cost of rebuilding the palace ultimately contributed to the downfall of the entire Qing dynasty a few years later. That's quite a legacy.